Howdy y'all, Mach 1 Fireman here and welcome back to Shadowrun Returns. If you remember in the last episode we finally took out the Emerald City Ripper, otherwise known as Dr. Henry Holmes. We, we took him out and we left Coyote there so she could do whatever it is she was going to do and we are on our way back to the Seamstresses Union. Now, on the way back, we passed some Lone Star squad cars, blah, 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 blah. Time to evaluate your next move. So, let us do so. Union is quiet this afternoon. Salarymen and wage slaves haven't migrated from nearby offices to and suburbs to dabble in the exotic yet. Sounds good. All right. So, hey, yeah, here I am. Hey, Johnny. How's it going, man? Let's see what kind of karma. Karma, karma, karma. Alright. Um, strength, quickness. Uh, let's spin some. Let's put... Hmm. What is this? What does this do? Double tap. Two attacks on a single target. Increased critical hit chance. Tell you what, let's um so we've got sixteen. So we'll do one in body. Use to calculate the hit chance. Yes, we'll do one there. And we got three left. Um we will save those. Save? Yes, we will save those. Eh. We were doing alright decking. Yep, we'll save those for uh, another... for the next time. Alright, so we got three left. Let us... We got $6,800. Let's see what Johnny has to say. Johnny says... She, he is talking with Cherry Bomb and Mrs. Kubota when you walk by. We were just talking about you. Alright. And the Emerald City Ripper. Ironic that you trekked a serial killer to a mental hospital. Yes, indeed. Uh, Johnny told us where you were going. Whatever. We have been waiting for you to return. I thought you knew better than that, Johnny. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. Johnny frowns and nods. You're right. I should have kept my mouth shut. I should have known better. It's just that we were, per we have a personal stake in the Ripper murders. Yep, yeah, you do. We each have our own reasons for wanting the killer found. Sam was a regular here, and his losses has been felt regardless of his shortcomings. <laughs> yeah. The whole sprawl has been shaking by these killings as well. The randomness of them. No one knows if they will be next or what the killer might take from them. I admit that the killings have hampered business as well. I'm sorry, but it's true. It just does not help that Sam's body was found down the street from here. Even my regular customers have been loath to venture out without a ki with a killer on the loose. Now tell us, did you find the person responsible for the Ripper murders? The person responsible? No. The killer? Yes. Um, got the bastard who wielded the scalpel, but whoever's pulling the strings is out there. Yep. Someone's pulling the strings of a serial killer? Not anymore. He's dead. This sounds more complicated than I expected. Uh, the head of the institute to do. Irish people, all of the transporter workers came to the same donor. Yeah, his mother. Looked like he was putting her back together. Ugh. Uh, Frankenstein job. Uh, hmm. Oh, they were all her organs. Oh. See, I must have missed that part. Uh, yep, we'll go with that one. <laughs> the three are silent as the news sinks in. Yeah, it's kind of gross. So, uh, Sam had a organ transplanted from his mother, and then the Ripper killed Sam and all those other people just to reassemble Sam's mother? Yeah. Yeah, that's about the size of it. <laughs> I said it's a cause and effect in this, you think? Coyote and Jake Armitage just left here 
to attend Sam's funeral. I am told there will be a uh, uh, reinterment ceremony for his mother as well. Uh, sister invited me to the funeral and the reinterment when I met her. Right, reinterment ceremony, interesting. Sounds like she'll be buried with all of her missing body parts. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. You think his sister Jessica had something to do with it? Maybe. Hang on! I saw Sam's sister when she was here the other day. She was a corp, and uh, uh, she was as corp as they come, and I can't imagine a lady like that behind a series of murders. There's got to be something else going on. It is clear you must go, go to the funeral and talk with Jessica Watts. I will. I'm going to get some answers. Uh, that's where I was headed. And I need to pay my respects to Sam. Of course. Miss Kubota raises her head and the conversation stops. Wait, before you go, there's one thing you did not tell us. Where did the Emerald where is the Emerald City Ripper now? <laughs> yes. Yes, yes. She nods in satisfaction. Ha! That is good. Hi. Hi. Hi hi. That is good. Yes it is. Uh okay, I've done that. Done that. Go to the funeral. Alright, so let's go see what's around here, if anything. Anybody to talk to? These are new people. Alright. Go talk to the big guy. Hey, big guy. Welcome back. Good to be back. What's the latest news? Got any intel? Thanks, big guy. Anything new in the rumor mill? Most of the rumors are about you. What you've been doing? I bet. Word around here is you went. Uh, you were closing in on the Ripper when you last left. Dare I ask how it went? He won't be a problem anymore. He's in the ground. Sam's killer has met his end. Sam would be grateful, I'm sure. Yes, he would. And yet your shoulders are no more relaxed, and you still survey the room like a man who has yet to return from war. This isn't over, is it? <laughs> loose ends. Uh, complications. Not quite. A few loose ends. The big guy sighs. <sighs> I was hoping this would soon be all, uh, soon be all behind us. The Baron sh has a short memory, but for wounds such as these, it makes an exception. To see this prolonged, I fear for how it may forever change the landscape. Gangs have already started to take advantage of the chaos left in the Ripper's wake. And that only serves to destabilize what semblance of order there was, paving the way for the megacorps to make land grabs and push poor uh, Sinus further to the fringes, where the dangers are greatest. Sooner or later, even the Union could be threatened. A good watering hole always survives. Uh, it would take an army... Good thing he's got you, or it's got you. Good thing we've got each other. Yeah, yeah. Take care. Will do. Okay. I know we're supposed to leave, but not quite. Not quite. I want to see if there's anything good for her to offer. She looks better rested. Uh, yep. Okay. Welcome back. Still all one piece. More's a pity for me, but I'll still take your money. Perhaps a full physical is in order. Or we could even call it medical consultation. <laughs> that's, that's why I roughly determine the odds your, of your survival based on your professional uh, proclivities. It comes with a lollipop. Yay, a lollipop. Uh, actually, I'm curious. How many patients have you lost over the years? Uh, she sits down at work and fixes you with a hard look. Her expression normally falls on the axis of varying degrees of indifference depending on her level of tiredness, but now it has shifted over to something decidedly darker. Is this morbid curiosity? Uh, I didn't mean to upset you. I'm sorry. It's fine. And I have no reservations about answering the question. Well, good. To give you a hard number is difficult. There are many who have considered, oh, who would have considered patients that never made it home. 
and uh, and so I suppose one could say they died while under my care, even out of result of it. Okay. But the number I think you want is the number of patients who died on my table, and that number is six. Eh, that's not bad. Six who are who I was unable to save spread across a 13-year career, and as I remember each and every one, down to the smallest detail, including the moment where I realized I could do nothing more for them. That's only one every two years. That's not bad. Not bad at all. I would argue that for the uh, four of those six were beyond helping from the moment they passed through my door. The fifth died a result as a result of complications while installing a stolen piece of experimental cyberware, which I had cautioned against using. And the last? Entirely my fault. I made a mistake. I can't claim I was overtired or inexperienced or distracted. I simply made the wrong decision, and a young man died as a result. Uh-huh. Still sitting here? I'm sorry. She picks up her tablet and resumes her work. Yes, well, will there be anything else? Uh, yeah. Let's see your cyberware. Uh... Um, 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 um. I want the reflexes one. Where did that one go? Bones, cyber arm. Hmm. That's a good one. Ooh, it's 5,000, though. I don't think I want to spend that much. A cyber leg? It's H HP and quickness. Hmm. Quickness I need. And it's 3% chance to hit. See, I don't know. Well, I, can, I guess I could do both of them. Yeah, what the hell? Let's uh, let's put this on a leg, and then we'll put this in the eyeball, and hopefully we will hit a little bit better. Hmm. Essence. Yeah. Whatever. Uh, spells cooldown increases by plus one. Cascade spell again. Blah 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 blah. blah. Okay. I guess that means I'm all done. Thanks, Doc. And anybody up here I want to talk to? Nah, nah. All right, let's head back out of here. Let's go to a funeral. Sam's funeral. Do 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 do. All right, and here we go. Take your cab to Sam and Melinda Watts Funeral. Confirm. Yes, I will. Okay, so we make it to the cemetery. And there are some people here. There's Jake and Coyote, Jessica Watts, Sam's sister, and somebody else. A beautiful elven woman in a six-figure outfit. I wonder who that could be. Let's find out. Oh, apparently we're going on a run. <laughs> we're going to have a battle. Uh-huh. Yeah, we got the good weapons, got our bunny outfit. Uh, do we have any uh, weapons decks? Oh, yeah, apparently I don't have any of the uh, grenades. Oh, well, good enough. Let's do it. You have karma available to improve your character's attributes and skills. Arp in the karma screen. Eh, I already did that. Uh, let's go take a look around. Always look around first. You never know what you're going to find. Especially in a graveyard in this game. <laughs> See there? What does that say? Oh, a fetish. Uh, send this to the stash. Alright. Anything else? Nope. Nope. Alright, we'll walk around. 
this corner. All right, there's Coyote and Jake and Melinda and some other people. Melinda. Where did I get Melinda from? Melinda is the, uh, the mom. Hello. Okay. I wonder if she's going to come back to life and try to attack us. This all seems vaguely reminiscent of the uh, the original Super Nintendo game. Hey, what we got here? Oh, there's something over there, too. See, this is why you walk around and look first. What we got? Jazz! Yeah! Um, can I put it here? Alright. Walk around some more. There's some lights over there. That's kind of weird. And here's something. What we got? Ooh, a frag grenade. Yep. Uh, frag grenade. Yes, thank you. Now. Now we go talk. It always pays off to be curious. All right. Here we go. Hi, Miss Jessica. How are you? The mourners stand graveside, listening to the Catholic priest words of prayer and solace. Jessica's face is filled with relief as the last of her family is laid to rest. Relief? Huh. All right. Father O'Malley. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Lord, receive the souls of Sam and Melinda Watts, mother and son, to live forever, forever by your side. Amen. Thank you, Father. I know my mother rests easier now that she's finally in the parish cemetery with all of her parts. I'm sorry for the recent loss of your brother, but I'm glad that reinterning your mother's body here has brought you comfort. She loved the parish so. She opens her hands in the elf to she opens her hands to the elf standing across from her. Thank you for coming, Lynn. Your support has meant the world to me. Now I can live again with my new family. Da da da. The woman is a classic elven beauty, confident, poised, expensively dressed. Of course, I'm glad this ancient ritual brings you some measure of solace. I hope you'll be able to put all of this behind you now. Jessica speaks to the rest of you. Thank you for coming. I didn't realize Sam had to had so many friends. I appreciate your support and your friendship with Sam. Jake says, I saw him out the night he died. Only fitting I see him out today. Sam may have been may have had his problems, but he was our friend, part of the Union family. Like on deals, bud. Yeah, he won't be missed. Miss Watts, family members and friends. Thank you for attending this service. I suggest we don't linger long. The cemetery isn't safe after dark. Thank you, Father. We'll just be a moment. Actually, if you could say a few things I'd like to discuss. Not so fast, sister. Uh, but we need to talk. She's guarded, but playing polite. Very well, but let's not keep Father O'Malley. He can leave. Thank you, child. Feel free to call on me as you need. The priest clutches his Bible to his chest and then turns toward the neighboring church. Bye, guy. Adios, father. Uh, okay, she the only one I can talk to? Of course. I want to talk to the elf lady. Oh, where are you going? Uh, all right. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. Father O'Malley leaves, granting you an opportunity to speak with Jessica, but it's hardly a private conversation as the elf Lynn has chosen to stay and support her friend. And so it happens, Jake and Coyote have lingered have also lingered, lending you support also. Alright. What would you like to talk about? Uh, let's get started with your mother. Did you know she was an organ donor? Let's talk a little bit more about Sam. Did you know he had a liver transplant? Holmes. Uh, let's go with that one. Jessica seems to choose her words carefully due to the circumstances of the or the company. No, 
But it doesn't surprise me that he needed a new liver, considering his uh, lifestyle. So you have no idea where Sam's transplanted liver came from? Question mark. She flushes bright, marring her perfectly made-up face. No, how could I? It's a matter of record, obtain obtainable by anyone wanting it bad enough, donor and recipients. And why would I care about such things? Man named Holmes, ever heard of him? Uh, let's start with that one. She eyes you suspiciously. I can't say that I have. Funny, because when he died, he said... She played us both. Who do you figure he meant? Jessica practically growls her words at you. Certainly not my mother. But she was the common link, wasn't she? She was the organ donor to all of his victims. My mother was not a donor. She was such a... Blah, 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 blah. Whatever. Though, uh, those organs save lives, including Sam's life. Holmes killed everyone your mother saved. She snaps. Those people were scavengers. Ghouls. They deserve to die for desecrating my mother's body. Aha! Aha! And poor, <laughs> and poor Sam, it was his drinking and debauchery that drove my mother to the grave. As sure as if he had murdered her himself. My mother deserved honor and dignity. I gave her that today. She's finally whole again with a proper Catholic burial. The ghouls who stole her organs, including Sam, have paid the price for their sins. The beautiful elf breaks in. The essence of calm. Jessica, that's enough. We have business to attend to. The old family is dead and buried where they should be. They can't take my new family now. They don't corrupt my children. I won't go through that again. Jessica, we need to go now. She presses a button on her comm link. She sees at you, Jessica does. What happens now is on your head. If you had just walked away when I told you to, McCluskey would have eventually found Holmes, collected his lieutenant's badge, and closed the case. But you had to keep digging. That's what I do kind of what I do. Now, you and your friends have to die. Let their blood be on your hands. We don't We don't have to die. We don't We don't have to... Oh. Man, we received your code red. Oh, only three? No problem. Neutral. Bye. See ya, coward. Okay, Coyote's gonna go here. Did you go where I told you to go? I don't know if you did or not. Atlanta site blocked. 29%. Oh, shotgun. No wonder. Uh, let's see. Do you have any other weapons? Fist, shotgun. Nope. Okay, you just go right there then. I will go here. I know I can't hit anybody, but, uh, yeah. We'll go with Jake. Good old Jake. Come on over here, Jake. What kind of weapon you got, buddy? Fist and a pistol, of course. Uh, 43, 54. Kaplow! And we'll end the turn. Oh, there's another one? Dang. Oh, there's another one. Holy crap! Uh, let's see, let's, uh, let's do some full auto. You're dead. Alright, we can't do that again, but we could do this. You? 24, holy mackerel. That's a hell of a crit right there. Uh, let's see, do you have magic that you could do? You do not, because you are not a magic person. Alright, so, let's get rid of that. Uh, can you hit this guy? 34%. How about that guy? 37%. Hey, good job. Do it again. Oh, you missed both. Eh, not a big deal. Oh, you got three turns. Missed again. All right, Jake. Your turn, buddy. Yep, good shot. Yep, good shot. Good shot. Oh, more. 
Ooh, that's a big guy. That's probably a rigger. Uh, TB, move in! Holy mackerel! Look at all the guys! Jake might not make this. Uh, we need to... Uh, we need to find out where Sam's sister might have gone. Maybe one of those guys could tell us with a little encouragement. What, is, what does that mean exactly? Does that mean I need to beat him up? Or just shoot him? Can I just shoot him? Yep, you're dead. Good job. Be dead. Alright, I'm going to go here. Get some cover. Alright, you are going to shoot this guy. And again. And again. Good job. Well done. Jake is doing okay for right now. Let's see. Heal wound. Yep. On uh, Jake. Heal yourself, sir. Heal yourself. Good. Well done. Uh, we're going to put you here for the moment. And I know you're not going to be able to hit that guy, but yeah, take a pot shot anyway. Oh, mage. Hey, 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 where are you going? Oh, good. I'm glad you missed all those. Get back. Well done. Oh, I forgot about that guy. Crap! You hear scratching coming from the crypt. I do? Well, I guess I know where Jake's gonna do. Can you hit this guy? You can't. Good job. Alright, let's move Coyote. Uh, let's see, where do I want to put her? Actually, let's shoot this guy first. Alright. Shoot him again. Oh, out of ammo. Okay, let's move here. And reload. I, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know that I want to, oh, Jake, really? There you go. I don't know that I want to find out what's here, but uh, I don't guess we have much of a choice. It's going to happen regardless. Ooh, cripes. You missed. Oh, you got me. Uh, all right. Looks like we woke up the neighbors. We've got ghouls incoming. Hey, man, maybe we could use this to our advantage. You think? How the hell are we going to do that? Um. 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 I, uh, yeah, I don't know. We're going to move Coyote back here. We're going to put everybody over here on this side. That's what we're going to do. And hopefully the ghouls will go after the, bad, the, the other bad guys. That's what we're going to do. Yes. Sounds like a good plan. Hey yeah. Don't come after me. Why? Why are you coming all the way over here? Look at these guys. Look at these two guys right here. <sighs> oh, miss, really? Okay, um, Cody, uh, does she have a med kit? She does have a med kit. So we will use it on her. Well done, well done. Okay, and we'll shoot some ghouls. And miss. Badly. Any 
kneecap. What does kneecap do? Yeah, yeah, let's do that. You suck! Wow. Alright. Hooey. I guess we'll have to move up a little bit. Go after the ghouls! Go after the ghouls! Hey, yeah, yeah. You stuck? You're stuck. Okay, good. Damn, what ghouls. So we're gonna miss. You're scratching coming from the crypt. Crap! Uh. Let's go after the captain. Yep, okay, good. Well done. You gonna drop anything for me? Or are you just gonna die? You're just gonna, you're just gonna lay there and bleed. We're just going to take out all of the mercenaries and hopefully once we get all those guys killed then uh, if she can freaking hit anybody then maybe it'll give us the next uh, the next thing line of sight blocked line of sight blocked dang it okay good no dang have to kill all the ghouls too apparently crappers Oh, no, I bet you, you know what? Hmm. Can I... Can I make it all the way over here? Because that guy's still up. He was the captain, so... Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Alright. Oh, you missed. Dang it. Why you got to suck so bad? And shooting things. Uh... Yeah. Oh, wow. They don't like fire. Oh, yes. Can I do it again? No, I can't. Oh, 20 HP to cast. Holy mackerel. Um... three. No. Okay. Do you have Ooh, a trauma kit? Uh, you use that on Cody. Alright, well done. Now shoot this guy. And miss. Where are you going? Where are you going? Why? Sir, why? You missed. You missed. Alright. Oh, goody, here comes some more. And some more. And another one. Okay, let me do something with this this guy. Right here. I, I want to be able to interact with this guy. I cannot, apparently. I missed. He's right in front of you. How do you miss? Twice. Oh, yeah. Out of ammo. Crappers. Alright, so let's try this again. Dang it, coyote. Wow, she is just bad. I don't know that we're going to make it out of this. There are just too many bad guys and not enough good shooting on my team. I might have to do this one over again. Oh, man. Yep, okay. Yep, okay. 
Well done. Okay. Uh, can I do the kneecap? I cannot. Okay, let's try this one. Yay, you got a hit. Well done. Holy micro, it's two hits in a row. Can we make it three? Of course not. That would make way too much sense. And Jake missed. And he's out of ammo. And he reloaded ammo. And he missed again. And he missed again. Holy crap, guys. Holy crap. Oh, and now I'm surrounded. And I'm going to die. Alright, hit this guy. Well done. Let's uh, use some burst fire on this one. Okay, good. Okay, maybe. She's about to die. Stores teammate. Oh, that's, uh, yeah, that's not going to do me any good. Nope, not on Jake. On Coyote. There we go. 15, good. Missed. Hey, a hit. All right, Jake. Just one. I just need one, man. Just one. There you go. All right. Good. I missed. Oh, you got me. All right. So let's use the burst fire again. All right. You're good. And single shot this guy. Okay, Coyote. Here we go, chick. 18 damage. Well done. Out of ammo, of course. Yep, reload. All right, good job. Finally, get some work done. Now, can you heal from here? To you. Oh, you can. Good. Five. Awesome. Can you do it again? <laughs> because that was ridiculous. No, you can't. All right, so let's uh, let's move up a little bit. And you missed. And you missed. Good. All right. Yep. Yep. And a yep. All right. Well. See, I told you, not a problem. We'd make it no problems. <laughs> oh, man. Let's investigate the leader. You listen as the sounds of gunfire and spell burst fade away into the silence of the, and, the, and the silence of the dead returns to the cemetery. The man is beyond healing. As you look down at him, you notice the quality of a suit and shoes. This isn't a runner, and he's not from the streets. Jessica Watts, she hired you. Where can I find her? You, you get nothing. He convulses and dies. Really? Uh, we don't know each other too well, but it seems to me that you should need to find a better group of people to associate with. Uh, yeah, you're not the first person to tell me that. Yeah, well, it's part of living in the shadows. Do the research, man. How do those troops materialize? That woman, Lynn, seemed familiar. Yep. She's a major spokesperson for the Universal Brotherhood. Her name is Lynn Telestrian. She's super rich. Jake grabs the dead man by the throat. At first, it looks like he's trying to kill him again. And then, you notice he's feeling something under the skin. Yep. He's got a Corp ID chip. You watch as Jake pulls out his modified PDA and slots the chip. Mr. Uh, Wiley here was with the Eagle Security. They work for the UB. They must have been Lynn Telestrian's security detail. We just chewed through. That that must have been her that we just chewed through. If she's protecting Jessica, they'll be inside the Universal Brotherhood. Oh, well, good. If you're going to hit the Universal Brotherhood, I'm coming too. But you suck with the shotgun. Ugh. <sighs> 
That psycho just admitted that she had my friend Sam and a lot of innocent people killed so she could put her dead mother back together. Ugh. That's, that's totally screwed up. Plus, she had her elf buddy, Lynn, just tried to kick me. They're going to hurt for that. Yeah, suit yourself, lady. I was only stopping by to pay my respects to Sam. Merc hit squads at the Universal Brotherhood. Not my scene at the moment. I could call up some of Delilah's runners if you want to go there now. Let me know what you decide. Eight karma. Yay. Interrogate the leader. Leave the cemetery. Done, done, and done. All right, I think that we're going to call that the end of the episode. It's probably a long episode. If you enjoyed the video, please feel free to leave a like. If you have any uh, questions or comments, feel free to leave those in the comments section below. As always, I appreciate y'all for watching, and I will see you next episode.